Hey guys, in the workshop again today, we had an interesting uh, inquiry over the weekend and basically it was regarding this piece of equipment here. Someone had seen it in the back of one of our YouTube videos and was curious as to what it actually was uh, because they'd never seen one before. Well, the reason you haven't seen one before is because this is something I've made myself. It's our spring compressor and, um, and spring tester. And so basically um, we used to have a, an H-frame spring compressor and uh, we had the Intercomp spring tester as well. Now, one of the problems with these spring testers and spring compressors in general form is that they run hydraulic jacks. And, and <laughs> we had a number of failures with those hydraulic jacks. I guess it's because of the frequency of use. Now, with the Intercomp spring tester as well, what we found was um, uh, the accuracy of that tester used to wane as the battery life started to fade and so we would find that um, our readings would go out and it wasn't consistent enough for us and certainly was not accurate enough and I mean it's the mainstay of the motorcycle industry when it comes to spring testing but it's not the most elaborate piece of equipment so what I wanted to do is obtain something that had a greater degree of accuracy and a greater de degree of convenience but also this item uh, it does everything and it takes up so much less bench space if you like so it's uh, very uh, convenient to have in the workshop and rather than using a hydraulic jack what we've done is we've actually employed a lead screw from CNC machinery now the lead screws when it comes to CNC's um, they have to be super super accurate and so this particular one has a five millimeter pitch and so for every one rotation that we, uh, that we do on this, we get five millimeters of compression. So normally we're testing springs over 10 millimeter increments. So simply two rotations give us a perfect 10 millimeters. We've got our load cells, we've got our uh, digital readouts and um, everything's contained here and it's uh, really, really easy to use. But let's have a quick demonstration. As a spring compressor, we'll take a uh, WP shock, all we do is put these adapting rings on here and basically we fit this in, just wind it down and so we've got a little ratcheting locking mechanism here which will hold everything in place and so what I've done here is I've just simply compressed it and take this circlip off the shock release the catch, wind the pressure back off and there we go. So as a spring compressor that that movement is very very slick, makes it very very easy and uh, very convenient and so as I said this doubles as a spring tester and so if we want just put our load cell in here, take our spring adapter, basically install this, wind it down a bit, and so we can then engage the digital readout. It's a simple one touch reset with this. Now the load cells that we've got here are laboratory standard. They are very, very accurate. And basically, for uh, for two rotations, we get our uh, we get our readout, our 10 millimeter increments. And so here we have a load of uh, 42.4 kilos. Now this is a um, a 42 newton meter spring. There is a slight discrepancy between newton meters and kilograms per millimeter, but we can just simply keep winding that down. And now we have 30 millimeters of compression and so we can divide that uh, by three and it'll give us our, our reading if you like. Obviously um, uh, this thing is very very crisp, very very easy to use and it's single-handed operation. So this thing has, uh, as I said, it saved us a lot of room. It's basically made life easy for us and we'll never have a failure with it. And so we can just release the tension now. And away we go. Oop, one more. So there you have it. Now, if I wanted to test fork springs with this, we've got a different load cell for fork springs. 
and this uh, has a different operating range so all we would do is we'd swap that shock uh, load cell out for the fork load cell we have an adapter tube that simply plugs in here we put our fork spring in there very very easy and so this is not something that's available for commercial sale it's something that we've produced just for our own use love this thing it uh, far outperforms our intercom uh, far outperforms our old spring compressor and uh, has just made life easy for us so in a nutshell that's what it is spring compressor spring tester and uh, problem solver for us okay thank you